Hey guys, welcome to my channel Movie Maniac. I'm Che Baby. So basically what we're going to do in this channel is review movies and series that we like, movies and series that we don't like. We'll talk about what you are into, what you are not into. So make sure to subscribe and tick the notification bell because I'll be posting each and every week and you don't want to miss it. So in this video we are going to be looking at 10 series that I'm currently into. Let's get right to it. At number 10 we have the series You. The series itself is called You. Not the, I'm not saying You. Like the series is called You. The series is about this guy who sees this girl and becomes obsessed with her. And it, as it turns out this guy is actually a stalker and like he's helped by the internet to stalk this girl and then he becomes obsessed with her in like such a destructive way like he even kills for this woman and I know like some of you may think ah it's love it's cute but at the end this guy actually ends up killing this girl I'm sorry for giving you spoilers he ends up killing this girl and then moves on to the next one like so it's not cute like this guy is scary this series is so amazing i love it i love the killings i love murder i don't know what's wrong with me but i love murder <laughs> and there's so much drama like you should definitely watch it at, at number nine we have this series called the innocence it is a british sci-fi series about uh there's this girl who finds out she has shape-shifting abilities which is actually really really awesome really awesome so this girl didn't know she could shape-shift when she was running away with her boyfriend and so her and her boyfriend go on this journey to find out about her powers and all that learn about her like how it came to be how her powers came to be and then she finds out that even her mom had it like it is like she finds out a lot of people have the, the same power so here's the thing with the shape shifting when you shape shift when you shift into someone else you have to make sure you shift back to yourself otherwise that person will be lost forever with you so at the end of the series this guy this girl shift into her boyfriend and then doesn't shift back into herself and shifts into another person it is actually really crazy i know you probably won't understand it when i say it right now but i really really love it so if you are into sci-fi if you're into scenes like that into shape shifting all that go and check it out at number eight we have this series that i absolutely love it's called good girls it's about three women three moms actually who were tired of being broke so they decided to get into a life of crime so they decided like the first thing they would do is go rob a grocery store it turns out the, the money that they stole belonged to this guy who is the leader of some gang so this guy wanted his money back and they had already spent it so they had to get into a deal with him like to help him launder money to sell drugs do deliveries like a lot of gang shit a lot of gang crimes <laughs> i really love this series because it has a lot of drama there's a lot of mystery there's a lot of uh, deaths murders you know i love murders in any series like i don't even understand how these people haven't been caught till now with really. it is very intriguing i even i didn't expect it to have a season two because i thought like uh series like that season one in Atosha but it has a season two and it looks like there will be a season three which will even be better than that so if you haven't watched it go start from season one eh, I love to like to at number seven we have dynasty a lot of people refer to dynasty as like the white empire just because it is like about a family a white family with a lot of money and the drama surrounding that family I personally don't think it's the same because there's a lot of singing in Empire, but okay. So in Dynasty, there's like a lot of drama, a lot of drama, and then there's like a lot of mystery and a lot of deaths in the new season, like it is at season two. Uh, actually, Dynasty was uh, is a, the current Dynasty is a remake of 
an original dynasty that like was aired in like 1990s 1980s over there this is actually really better if you haven't watched it please do at number six we have stranger things i really love this series i have a lot of things to say about this series especially since the new season is out so i won't do that in this video i'll do that in the next video so make sure to subscribe so that so that you don't miss out on that video at number five we have the series pose i absolutely love this series i love the way billy potter says and the category is pose <laughs> I can't do it but anyway so this series is set in the 80s it's about gay people it's about trans people it's about it covers basically their lives back then it covers their oppression it also covers how people like back then perceived hiv and aids and i think that is like the basis of most of the myths that we had growing up about aids like they believed at he, if you are heterosexual and you're married there's no way you can get aids like it's just a bunch of bs you can find this series on netflix season one season two you can find it on f movies i don't know why netflix hasn't released season two yet i think maybe it's waiting for all the episodes to air so you can find it on f movies season two i think it's like five episodes right now uh this series uh it's it's a netflix original the producer of this series just signed a multi-million dollar deal with netflix to continue producing this show for netflix and other shows and she's actually also transgender which is actually pretty pretty cool uh if you're if you're not into this this kind of stuff maybe this is not the, the movie for you the series for you but you should definitely check it out at number four we have ambition produced by the oprah winfrey network which is why i love it it's set in atlanta georgia <laughs> No, but seriously, it's set in Atlanta, Georgia. It is uh, like believed to be like the black city, like the the city where black people have the most power. So it's like revolves around families, black families, and what they would do to get in power, to stay in power. There's so much drama. I love it. Uh, there's so much mystery. There's a lot of cheating, a lot of affairs. Like each and every person who is married over there is having an affair it's crazy and uh so far like there's like five episodes out on f movies it's not on netflix it's on f movies go check it out on f movies yeah so far there hasn't been any murders in the show but i think like as we progress there'll be there has to be murders i mean it's like a it's like a dope series it has to have murders so please go watch it at number three, we have Euphoria, starring our very own Zendaya. So this series covers like a lot of issues, a lot of stuff. So I won't be able to like talk about it in this video. I'll talk about it in the next, in the, in another video. So make sure you subscribe so that you do not miss out on that. At number two, we have Black Mirror. <laughs> I really love Black Mirror. It's like an anthology series it's a sci-fi what i mean by that is that each and every episode is different it has different stories with different characters different storyline like each and every episode is different each and every episode is about one hour long but don't worry like it, it's not like 10 episodes a season it's like four or five episodes a season so you can you can just watch it and you won't you won't get tired i really love the ideas in this series they are like i don't think it should be called fiction because i think like a lot of the ideas can be realized in like the next maybe 50 years it's absolutely amazing it's about tech if you love tech this is definitely the series for you so please go watch it and you'll not be disappointed even if you don't love tech i promise you you won't be disappointed in this series Please go check it out. And number one, we have Money Heist, La Casa de Papel. <laughs> I'm sure by now a lot of you have heard about Money Heist, La Casa de Papel. Like it's everywhere. People are talking about it. It's really a dope series. Like if you think this is one of the series that people just go with the hype, I guarantee you, guarantee you, it's not. 
it's really a dope series it's about this guy who has been planning the perfect crime for months and months and he recruits these other criminals to help him execute the plan and it's just a lot of mind like mind facts so you to say it's a lot of mind facts about like how like how they execute the plan to the very end and they actually end up not getting caught this is actually a very dope series it's found on netflix on Netflix, it has um, the series is done like they did a voiceover on the series in English, but it's, it's actually not in English the original series. I, I would I actually prefer it in its original language. You can watch that on F movies because Netflix doesn't give you the option to change. I think it should actually because you know come all this way for the university and I don't even understand why they voice it over. But anyway, 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 anyway. Season 3 of this series is coming out July the 19th on Netflix. Please be sure to check it out. Ah, no, que ver